The U.S. military says remains released by North Korea will be sent to a military lab in Hawaii to hopefully be identified. While some identifications are done quickly, others could take years. Scientists will compare the remains to dental records or old x-rays. and They may be linked to genetic material that's been donated by relatives of missing service members. It was a coordination effort over the last month that we determined where they would deliver the remain to, where our plane would fly in, where they would be taken to for the initial review. So all of that went well. There's still some uncertainty about whether the remains are actually those of U.S. service members. Vice President Mike Pence will be in Hawaii to take part in the honorable Kerry ceremony and receive the remains at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam when they return to American soil. We also talked with local Korean War veterans who will be there at the ceremony. Ten veterans will represent the Hawaii Division of the Korean War Veterans Association. Many of them were honored to have been invited and say, this moment has been a long time coming. Some of us gave some, and there were some that gave all. But those who are coming back uh, on this, this, past, this next Wednesday, uh, they gave all. And those are, those are the real heroes. That's our brothers that gave their lives, that are coming home now that make us feel good because it's a closure. They're coming home, not staying in North Korea. I get very emotional when I hear that because I had a closure with my brother. They don't have. If you want to pay your respects and see the names of fallen soldiers, you can also visit the Korean War Memorial at the state capitol.